Category of visuals. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. Today I'd like to talk to you about categories of visuals. So let's start with symbols. A symbol is a way to convey information visually. Some symbols are very country specific, so you wanna make sure that any symbol you're using is well understood by the audience in which the symbol is appearing. Maps are a great way to illustrate information. If you're trying to show someone how to get from point A to point B, showing a map is a much easier way than trying to describe how to get from one place to another. If you ever go to a mall, it says, you are here, so that way you know I am sitting in this location looking at this directory. Here is where everything else is going. Now, more and more often, companies are using Wayfinder so they can find themselves in locations. So maps are very common. People are used to looking at maps. It's a great visual reference when you're talking locations. Graphs and tables will help illustrate key points. So a great graphic will actually say, here's the thing I'm trying to get you to pay attention to. It'll puff off the, off the stage. A, gra a graph itself is gonna take data and information and it's gonna say, here's visually what, the, what we're talking about. It's really hard for me to hold a bunch of numbers in my head, but if you can show con context of the graph or the table that says, here's the information, what's important, and here's how you can visually represent what that information means. All these different vi visuals will help your reader understand what you're talking about. Diagrams will also help identify and dissect information. So for example, if you think about like how you want to uh, show how something works, for example, I might take my phone and do a diagram of my phone. I'm gonna show you that there is a glass case underneath that. Here's all the components. Here's how you how the uh, uh, the Wi-Fi is going through the phone. Here's where the cellular signal comes from. Here's basically how all the computer components work. That diagram helps me understand the guts or the inside of the actual device. Before that, I would just say, oh, it's a phone. I just see the outside. I don't know what's on the inside. So diagrams can be very visually supportive. Regular illustrations, when you're trying to illustrate a key message or key point, you're basically visually representing what you're describing in the text. So that visual helps make it easy for people to understand what, you ta what you're talking about. The old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, the right illustration can basically help anchor the conversation you're having in the document. And lastly, photos. Anytime you drop a photo in, it should be very relevant to the topic at hand. So you're not just doing visuals like photos just for eye candy. That's not very effective. Effective visuals are things that illustrate your points. A, a great picture of a customer taking an action that you wanna see more of in the world is a great way to anchor your audience on here's what we're going for. And then when you insert these visuals, you wanna just be make sure that they're right at the right point of conversation. So you, know, you can have left justified, right justified, these are good examples of how you take an, a visual, drop it into your text, and then make the text pop. So you can see your eye naturally goes toward the visual, even though there's nothing there. It's just a placeholder. But you can see, where does your eye go? It goes to the bottom right on this particular page. So visuals can be hugely powerful. The main thing for you to do is to make sure it's the right visual for the key points you want to make in the document. If you put too many visuals in, they're all competing for your attention but sparsely use visuals like the right graph talking about the key data point or the right picture illustrating what you're trying to get, a, uh, get across in the document. These are all very helpful to make sure that what your reader walks away from is exactly the message and the emotional connection to whatever the content is in the rest of the document. Use sparingly, they're incredibly effective. It helps really bring home the key points you wanna make in any document.